Just a quick disclaimer. For all of you Snowflake Tom McDonald fans out there, I made this video for one purpose and one purpose only. To see how many Tom McDonald stands I could piss off in the comments. I like Tom a lot, but I find it really funny how his fans make fun of snowflakes when a lot of them are actually snowflakes themselves. If you lie to the government, they'll put you in prison. So, there are certain times when people can be arrested for speech, but those limitations on free speech are called time and place restrictions. For example, it is illegal to yell fire in a movie theater, because that could potentially cause a dangerous situation, such as a stampede. In general, however, you cannot be arrested for free speech, and you can sue if you happen to get arrested. Also, I'm not really a fan of political songs in general. I know that I've made everything great about videos in the past for Tom's political songs, but I've come to hate when politics are the topic of a song, regardless of how many of the artist's views I agree slash disagree with. I hate it when Eminem does it, and I hate it when Tom McDonald does it. No matter what, it's a sin. You know who hates America the most? Americans. I mean, when you have entire countries that are taught from birth that America is an evil superpower, that's probably not true. Trigger warnings used to be on TV for seizures, and now they're everywhere to protect millennials' feelings. Look, I love it when people attack millennials and Gen Z for their weak-ass feelings, cause, let's be honest, my generation is ridiculously sensitive. But so far as my experience has gone, I've never seen a trigger warning for people's feelings at the start of a show or movie. Or anything, really. But hating straight men, white folks, and Christians is common. Yes, hate against white people obviously does exist. But it just seems like Tom is trying to make it a bigger issue than it is. The 2019 hate crime statistics are one example of this, with 52.5% of the offenders being whites, and about 35.8% were racial minorities. Also, considering that not all of the minority offenders were necessarily committing crimes against white people, it is a relatively small group that actually does hate white people. Coca-Cola telling people they should be less white They preach intolerance, but if you disagree, they fight There's a race war here, elections based on fear Black lives only matter once every four years Not really. The Black Lives Matter movement has been very active even after the elections, so this isn't necessarily true. Black folks and white folks divided by the news But we are all the same, we are red, white, and blue Y'all are so fake, oh no Okay, I like Tom a lot, but this chorus fucking sucks. It deserves a good five sins. Empowering women used to be different than this before. The role models got only fans or dance on a stripper pole. He just tried to rhyme the phrase this before with stripper pole. And I've gotta say, it did not work. They take an Adderall to focus, hit McDonald's to eat. They're addicted to phones and they take Xanax to sleep. This line is very similar to the one earlier when I said that it's a small group of people that does this. Yes, there are definitely far too many people who do this kind of shit, but it's still not the majority. I mean, I would be totally fine with it if Tom made it clear that he was only going after the small groups, but it's never explicitly stated. The men playing women's sports get trophies for winning. Like, great, let's celebrate a man for beating some women. But if you're white, the stereotype is you are a racist. Again. It is only a small group of people who genuinely believe that white people are naturally racist. Most people, regardless of race, do not actually believe that, cause it's a stupid ass view. Blaming capitalism like that's the reason things are tough. While you tweet from an iPhone and sip on a Starbucks, you're supporting what you stand against. You don't think you are, but a Percocet addict don't donate money to pharma. Yeah, that deserves another sin removal. We can all get along, but there's no stopping. Everybody's wrong, that's a real problem. Okay, I have to remove yet another sin, cause this cadence is actually really fucking good. Snowflakes melt when it's hot, kid. As clearly demonstrated by all the Tom McDonald fans who commented under the third Ernest's reaction to this song. Telling people they should be less white They preach intolerance, but if you disagree, they fight Where is the horse and the rider? 
2021, we paint the Patriots as Nazis. Fuck that Nazi bitch. If you're rich or you're smart, then you're probably Asian. You doctor yet? No, Dad, I'm 12. Talk to me when you doctor.